Great, it's great to be here actually. It's great to see old friends and lots of new faces. Exciting to see so many new people. So it's, it's been, it's great. You obviously, good things happening here and that's really encouraging. So we've been praying for you from, from time to time and um, it's good to come back and see it growing very quickly. Um, so we were here, we left about two years ago and um, we now live in a town called Redditch, which is in Worcestershire. It's about half an hour's drive south of Birmingham. And it's a small town, much smaller than the Medway towns. Um, very kind of different, but lots of similarities as well. So it's, uh, it's been an adventure. Um, very quickly, for those of you that don't know us, we, we, we were here for a long time and we ran a small business and we were looking to retire and we were praying, how do we get out and retire at some point? Um, and then quite out of the blue, a company from Redditch approached us and made us an offer for the business on the basis that we would go and be there and help them to integrate it with their business. So that's what we've done and it's been a big adventure. I think it's curious how sometimes we think that life is a linear process, that it's just a curve but to me, it's not like that at all. It seems to be a whole series of steps. You know, you go, life goes along, a kind of track for quite a long time, and then you get sudden changes. Um, you might move or get married or have children, or, and life suddenly changes. And it's really been like that for us. So when I started there two years ago, I was on my own, because Helen was still working here. And um, we, uh, I, I didn't know a living soul. Started on a Monday morning, didn't know a single person, and um, it was quite strange. But um, I kept looking at those verses in Philippians 4 you know, God is near, don't be anxious about anything, uh, in everything. Um, I forget exactly now how it goes, but um, with prayer and thanksgiving and supplication, make your needs known to God, and the peace of God that passes all understanding will guard your hearts and minds in Christ Jesus. Kept praying that. You know, go in the morning, it was so busy, it was so difficult. So many things went wrong in the early days. And um, kept praying that. Every day I'd go out and pray that prayer. And God's been very good to us, really, very good. So um, we went there, we didn't know what was gonna happen or where we'd be. We visited all, all the churches in Redditch, or many of them and um, didn't really feel that we could hook up with them. So we joined a church in Bromsgrove, which is about a 10 minutes drive, New Frontiers Church, similar to this, um, about a bit, little bit smaller probably than, than you are now. Um, and um, 18 months ago, we, we were at the Catalyst Festival. They have a festival at Stonely, the Stonely Ground, which is not unlike Stonely Bible Week, if any of you remember that. Um, quite strange, but and while we were there, God was speaking to us, and we kept getting this idea. Well, there's a there's a church plant here. I've got people in Redditch. I've got something I want to do in Redditch, and um, so we went back and we prayed and we talked to the church elders, and they said, "Yes, we've been wanting to do this for ages. Let's do it." So um, it's been such an adventure really. That was 18 months ago, we were praying, we were looking for others, and um, our idea was, we've got a living room, we live in Redditch, we've got a living room, let's look for some church planters to come, and we'll help them. That was the idea. <laughs> that was our idea. And the, the church leaders said to us, you could do it, why don't you do it? We think you should do it. So um, we find ourselves suddenly leading a church plant, which is a real <laughs> surprise. Not what we expected at all when we went. And um, so we've been praying about it, talking to the church, and um, around the beginning of the year, we moved to our permanent house. We've been living in various temporary places. And then we started looking for others. And about May time, once we'd unpacked and got everything settled, um, we started a home group. They call them life groups. So it's part of the Bromsgrove Church. It's a life group part of that. 
with a plan that it would become the nucleus to plant out into the village. So to start with, there were two. Now there are seven. In September, there'll be nine. October, there's another family coming. So we're praying for 12. That's our, <laughs> that's our current target. <laughs> and then, um, and so far it's going well, really. It's good, it's good, it's a great bunch of people. And um, we're sure God is doing something in the village, aren't we? Um, so. <laughs> I need to get a word in here. <laughs> It has been an amazing adventure and for those of you who are who feel you're at the beginning of a change or maybe even of your Christian life you're near the beginning um, God is full of adventure and he loves you you are precious to him and he has adventure for you life is not boring it's not small it's not boring it's difficult absolutely is difficult Jesus said in this world you will have trouble but take heart take heart because Jesus is with us and that's what makes the difference um, for us in Redditch Steve said we knew nobody absolutely nobody which actually is okay because that means the first person you meet and talk to you make friends so it's been an amazing adventure we know that God wanted us in Redditch um, amazingly how it worked out I won't go into details but um, I was invited to become manager of the Redditch Food Bank there's a surprise <laughs> um, having led it here in Medway and um, that's been brilliant because it it took me certainly straight into a whole network of churches working together of Christians in teams of um, a group of trustees who had a heart for the poor who want to see uh, people in Redditch hearing the good news about Jesus. So it's very exciting being part of that. Um, I love it, it's exhausting, it's demanding, but it's an adventure in God. Tell the story how um, you met Robin. Oh, I'll, I'll be here too long. No, There's other things quickly, to happen. Quickly. Okay, really quickly, <laughs> I have said this to some, but um, as Steve said, we, we, we got the keys for the house that we were in temporarily. And I'd been working down here to do the move. And um, on the morning we got the keys, I thought, okay, I'm gonna go and say hello to the food bank. I might be able to volunteer with them and help them. So I went down to the church um, that was taking a lead in that. And I knocked on the door and I just said, do you need any more volunteers? Because I've got a little bit of time now. And they said, yeah, come in, have a chat. And the pastor of the church had been leading the food bank there. They hadn't been going, they'd been going about six months or so. And he, um, he said to me, wow. He said, this morning I was praying. I said to God, Lord, I can't do this anymore. You've got to send me somebody. was brilliant and it was at the right time because they were they had to do a lot of change they had to move out of the building they were in they had to relocate so i had to find a new building new offices build the team expand things and all of that has happened in the year yeah. and the lord has led us yeah. brilliantly found the office in the right place all the barriers can't happen too expensive can't be done wiped out god did it so we're there the teams are growing and we're building to develop what's what we're calling now community hubs so it's more than food um, obviously working with loads of partners for debt advice all sorts of things so we know i know we both have a heart for um seeing people in redditch who don't know him who are in great many people in distress many people who are you know facing really hard times but god is searching for them he is searching for them because he loves them jesus died for them and they need to know it so we're wanting to build the church that will be community-based with a heart for rescue a heart for worship um, and we will let you know how that how, how that goes so thank you pray, pray for us will you because it's something we've never done before and it's been it's going to be difficult i'm sure and um, if you think you'd like to work on a church plant, 
think of coming to Redditch. There's a real heart in Catalyst. There, there's six or seven church parts going on in the Midlands, not far from us. We have a network, we're working together. Um, so there's a real momentum building. If you think you'd like to work in a church plant, I don't I'm asked them to say this, but um, <laughs> we have somewhere you can live, and um, you know we have lots of things you can do. So well, let's, let's pray for you now. That's amazing, isn't it? Those yeah. that know see Nellens plant the church. Wow, that is brilliant. That's great. That is yeah, amazing. Yeah, Lord, we, we thank you for Steve and Helen, j just been able to see them again, hear their, their uh, stories of what's been going on the last couple of years. We thank you for um, all that you're doing in Redditch, Lord, and we, we are excited, Lord. We, we, we think, yeah, so it sounds right. Yeah, I remember when they left praying for them and that sense of a new season and God taking all that they've been involved with over the years here and before that, like all that experience over the decade, you've been been around the block and then uh, be pioneering something new, and, and and it's a lot of pioneering, not not just a food bank, but um, now church plant as well. So we 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 do pray for for fruitfulness, Lord, and and that that you you would make it happen, Lord, that it, things would open up, people would come, you'd connect people in with them, and that it wouldn't it wouldn't be just a, a kind of uh, just one battle after another, but it would it would just be um, that they're putting one foot in front of the other, and things seem to happen um, easily, Lord. And we and certainly that that's been our experience in the last year or so. And you think not not really doing anything different, but it's as if God is just helping out a lot. And so we pray that for Stephen and Helen that that you, that you would help them out a lot, and uh, that that there would be um, people saved in Redditch, people that would become Christians and be added in, that they'd be d discipling people, Lord, that are from that local area. And that, and that in the future, Lord, we know there'll be others who'll come in and, and help lead. So we pray for those people, um, men and women, who would, would uh, come alongside them and shoulder it. And then, and then on into the future, we, th we think 10 years ahead um, of, of then who's going to come up um, to pick things up from them, Lord. We pray for, for a team to hand the baton on to as well, Lord. We, we look forward to hearing about that, Lord. So bless them in Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. 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 Thank you. Great. It's here for Stephen and Helen. Do catch up with them afterwards. <laughs>